Okay, so we got the ayin aleph, and we're on number kuf tes. Now this yes. is like a sort of like a little bit of uh, a misdirection. He says yevoyer kavonis nikud, that is the nikudim, that are on the chavai b'pasuk divyevarachacha. Now I don't have the rishash. I do have a rishash sitter, and we're both going to be getting the same version soon, and we'll talk about it. So he says that the nikudim, the, the way that a word is munukad, adds gematrias to the words and could be a whole avenue of interpretation that needs to be explored. But it's, it's, he's going to talk about it here. He said, Vehine, haravaya shibapasuk zera menukedes becholim. So the first, he wants to go to say that the first letter has a cholim underneath it, uh, above it. Vetseri, then the two dots below. Then the komets, which is the, the zohar, the Kabbalah sees this as a vav and a dot, which is a ten, but if you were counting. And a comets, and then in the, ends up with its area again. This is not the long, the normal way of writing kavaya. And then he says imeluyaho beyudin, and then you take the I, I don't know what this means really. You know you could spell it out in a milui, and if you do a milui with yudin, which is yud vav dalad k yud vav yud vav k yud, commotion is byritz lainu. So this has all been explained in the idras azinu. The Maimer Shlosh Reishim, which is really talking about the three heads of Eric Anpin. Shehuskru Sham Bereish Idra Sazino, this is mentioned at the beginning of the Idra. Ba'ayin Sham Hetiv, look over there well. So, huh? I'm sorry? Have you want the Idra Sazino? Yeah, and it's probably in the somewhere out there in your thing that's been said. We went through all of the Idris Azino, we went through the Idris Zuto, the, according to the Abulafias. Not the Abulafias, uh, the, the uh, what's the Bab? Abba Chatseras. So, so we went through that. That is in the, so I don't know how you find it, but you know, because we had hundreds of Shiorim here. Uh, anyway, let's look at the Tiv on number Kuftes. 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 He said, "But beinian the rabbiya she yesh bepasuk di yivarechacha." Then the next word is going to be yud kevavke. Yesh lekaven shnei kavanos. Should have two kavanos. One is and just I'm just listening to this. Beinian hanikud shuhu bechaylim seri vekamets betseri. So he says the pattern of the four letters has these are manukud like this. So this is a whole area of uh, Kabbalah that I don't know anything about. But I see it, and I'm not sure nobody has guided me yet into how to use them or what's the kavana for them. And I just talk about the kavana. So this is your kavana. You should have these these letters again, uh, like that. Bavur b'shar my mari rashbi. So apparently this is brought brought out over there. Sheos yud he benikud cholim. So it's a yud with a dot on the top. The hey then the next letter is benikud seri. Then the vav is with the nikud comets. Oh, benikud se- so so with nikud comets, benikud seri. He left left out. I think maybe a word. He said, but the last letter, which is the hey, should be a nikud seri. Okay, say so base. Be inyan hamilu ishu hamavaya bemilu yudin, right? Because that is yud vav dalad k yud vav yud vav k yud, and that. So he just says that. The Masha Kasa commotion is bar of its line of Idris. So what he says over there that we're going to see over in the Idris Azinu, the Maimer Shlosha Ration that we saw on this, the three heads. So over there it's talking about what we mentioned. I think you were, you and I are learning that. Yeah, yes. we're learning that, the three heads. Nira She'en Zeh Al Inyan Anikud. So that this is really not about the Nikud Shel Chavaya, but Inyan the Milo in this car. It's not talking about those two things. So he the he's saying like this. There's a little mix up over here with what was uh taken from uh Reb Chaim the, the Marachal from Reb Chaim Vital. So he says that this came up and he says that you could find this over in the Idra Zazinu, but now the Tiv says no, it's not over there. Ki in Yanim, I go back to Kinyanim, Elu, Lonis Ba'aru Sham. They're not explained there. Elu Kavanasa, Amasha Kasa, the El, but what he's really talking about is going back to what we were talking about before. Binyan Ashlosh Reshim, Shiesh Be'er Berich. We're going to talk about the three Roshim of Berich. Binyan Zen is Boyer Sham. And explained over there 
but exactly, I don't recall seeing anything about the Nikudim over there. So, uh, so he says that it's not. I, 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 it, it's it's a, not like a false flag. In other words, this is in there, but it doesn't seem to belong to exactly their explanation about what the Nikudim are and what the Milui means. Maybe it's back there. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not going back. So let's go over to the next one. Now, you see that we've gotten in, we're going into a pan uh, a pattern of looking more deeply. At, at this, besides the great kabbonis that we already have about the makifim and how they come in and the, the words, uh, here we got Yivor kabbonis hamshachos hashefa me'erech marich lazer anpen. And if you listen to the shir this morning from the Sifidus Niuta, he keeps talking about that. This is Rebbe Shimon. He's talking about this, but in a real, real hidden way. And the uh, this the shiva that we're we're reading, which is the Abu Chatzeres. Uh, it is real high level stuff that he's described that he's describing. He's doing pretty good over here too. So he says that this pattern of the flow from Eric Anpin to Zer Anpin, and their Mezes Baroshi Tevos that can be found, you can understand and understand the the secret of the flow from Eric Anpin to Zer Anpin by the by using Roshi Tevos and Sofi Tevos Shabbosuk Deviyevarachacha. Okay, so that's the general idea now. So I just, for myself, I'm trying to see what he's saying. He says he says that the Roshi tables and the Sofi tables could be used for the purpose of describing the flow from Eric Anpin into Zeranpin. Okay, so that's a big secret there. So he says, Venimsa, though we're reading the top only now, Venimsa, keep a pasuk zehu inin hemshech shlosha reishi me loyal lamata. So in this pasuk, we have an extension of the idea of these three heads that we have up above that are going, there's like a waterfall, a cascade effect that's going from the top to the bottom. So he says, uh, And that's the reason why the first letters of the three different words that we're talking about here are significant. And these are the first letters, Yud Yud Vav. Now you add it up, it's 10, 10, and 6, it's 26, it's the Gematria of Yudke Vavke. The Shehem Begimatria Esrim Vesheish, Kaminin Arba Osio Savaya. Okay, so he says, well, the Sophie tables, then they take the last letters. The Sophie tables, Heim Kachach. So it's Yiva Rechacha Zachoth, Hashem, which is Yudke Vavke, and it's a K. And then the last one, Vishma Recha, which is going to be the Kaf Sophit. Shehem Begimatria Ma. Now this this strikes me as uh, I don't know that you really got into the concept of ma ben. It's a really mind bending. Uh, okay. uh, we will be running into it. So at any rate, so he says shehem begematria ma, which is a gematria forty five, which is a gematria of kaminyan arba osias yudke vavke demiluy alofin, and he'll show that to us again. But it's yud vav dalit ke alav vav alav vav ke alav. So he says, a key shame havaya shabaza, because this is how it works out with Zeranpin. Miss Male Besod Cheshbon Besod Milui Mamashimez Barach Min Eric Anpin. Let's read this again. He says, the Havaya, Zeranpin, is the manifestation of the name Yudke Vavke. That means that he is revealed, that, is, that name is revealed in Zeranpin. That's what it means. So therefore, that really describes Zeranpin. So he says, Mismale besod cheshban, so it's filled with the secret of cheshban. So cheshban means account. Uvesod milui, and it counts also of making a milui, mimash, shemiz barach min erik anpin, and the milui get filled with the blessing, this concept of this 45, or, or we're saying about Zeranpin, he, he says it comes out, with, it, it really talks about what is being filled into Zer Anpin from Eric Anpin. Min Shlosh Reshim and Iskairim, specifically from the three heads that we've been talking about. Okay, so let's look over here and uh, see how the Tiv helps us out. And so we're on the uh, Kuf Yud, I guess is the very bottom of the page. How we use that pasuk, Baroshe Tevos of Vesofe Tevos, as we use, we we're going to use the first letters of these three words, 
and also the last letters of these words, Ha'aras ha'shlosha roshim de erik the arich lamat the za. So he says, using the first again, using the first letters and using the last letters, we can describe using that the flow. This is the hidden flow that is inside of Eric Anpin going to Zer Anpin. Then he says, Ve'inyan amshachas ha'shefa me'erik marich l'za. So the idea of the pour of the shefa into from arich into Zer Anpin. Near maz b'roshe tevos of the sofit tevos shall the pasuk open zem. It's really referenced by the first and the which he said several times. With the roshe tevos, the first letters. The Sofi tables and the end letters shall the pasuk be open says. Now he's going to say how. He can say a rosh a rosh a table shall a pasuk give a recha Hashem be yishma recha. So he did us the favor of separating out the letters. Heim yud yud vav. So twenty six. The gematria esrei v'sheish kaminyan. The shame havaya. Which if you count that up, that's what the shame havaya comes out of shu esrei v'sheish. So right there you see that there's this reference. To the manifestation of Havaya from the first three words, the first letters of the first three words. Now, don't remember, bear in mind that what he's saying is this, this is what your kavana should be. So that you, when you're saying those, when you're saying the phrase Yivarecha Hashem Yishbarecha, you know that each one of the letters there begins with something that'll add up to twenty-six. Then he says, let's take the Sofi tables. But the Sofi Tevah shall the Pasuk Yivarecha Hashem V'yishmarecha Heim Kachach. So they come to this. Kachach is 25 plus 20 is 45. So it's Kaf Sofit Min Tevis Yivarecha Heim Min Shevis the Teva Havaya. And the Vav, it's interesting, Min Tevis V'yishmarecha. So he says, V'kaf. Now he wrote this down below. The first one he wrote Kaf Sofit. I'm just pointing out that he wrote the Kaf Sofit twice, whereas originally the actually it's uh, doesn't matter. They're both Kaf Sofits. Okay, I'll just go on. Min Tevis Vishmarachal. The Shehim Begimatria Arbaim Vachamesh. They come to the to the count of forty five. And it looks like this. If you add these numbers up, it's 20 and 6 is 26. And then 13 is 39 and 6 is 45. Now you have these two numbers that are sitting around now. So then he says, So what do you get out of this? Shehoya ad after bebechinus shem chavaya pasha that originally it was just like this, it was just a yud ke vav ke which is a twenty six, so that's what he says. Those are the first letters. So he says as it starts out, it's a twenty six, referenced by these letters. Ayidei shen nimshach alav shefa min shlosh roshim de erik anpin and that that is in fact what comes from erik anpin in its purest form, I guess. Are my words purest form? Uh, nizbarach mizbale, so then it's it's blessed and filled. Is in other words, they make a milui out of it. Bechin the shame of Aya, be milui alafim gazet, and it spreads out into this. So first, it comes out purely. This is what they call the yudke vavke. It's called a pashut, a pashut. So the because Eric Anpin is you know a drop. He's bringing a drop down over here. I don't know. And then he said, but then it spreads into a, a milui. So yud ve uh, so yud vav dal ke alav vav alav vav ke alav shu be gematria ar bayim v'chamesh which is in the gematria of forty five. Uh, okay, that was it. That was it. Okay. The miloi alachim kazer. I don't I don't understand. It's it's a miloi. I understand, but why is it alachim? Well, it comes because it comes, if you do it that way, it comes to the gematria of 45, and it turns out that 45 is a significant number because it actually represents, in a lot of different places, it represents Adam. So Adam, that Adam is a gematria of 45. So, so it's, it's, it's a concept, he's not really going into it so deeply here. It's a concept that is full of, full of, of, uh, the four, uh, the four levels, correct? Say, uh, 
Asagma. Oh, yeah, we pronounce it Svartic, Ben. But you could pronounce it Ban. That's very interesting. Uh, so you could pen, the Ashkenaz pronounce it Ban. So, because uh, we had some of the yeshiva, somebody from Breslov came. He didn't know a lot of Kabbalah, uh, but he did know the name Ban. And that was nice. It was a real nice shear too. Uh, okay, we're going to go to the next one. Uh, did you have a question about that? No. So I don't know any more than, than you know. I just listened to what he said. He wanted to point out you have a 26 and then you have a Milui. So this is, he wants to say, I think, that this is the concept of the actual poor. The poor, as it starts out, is a 26. It's a Pasha. But then as it reaches Zerampin, it starts to spread into Zerampin, which is going to do. It builds Zerampin, and it becomes more Begilui, and now you see that it's not just four letters, there's another ten letters here. Uh, and incidentally, there that's that we were talking way back when, uh, a couple of days ago, about the concept of 420, and then we are talking about ten times 42. Well, this, this, this number 42 appears a lot in different places, and we're going to see it. One of the places is the Pashut, which is ten, which is four letters, the Male, which is ten letters, that's fourteen, and the Male, the Male. This is the real Hispashtus, which is twenty-eight letters. Added up, it comes to be forty-two. So this is another place where we see the Aliyah, the power of the Aliyah of the name, how you work that name. Uh, but I don't know how to use it other than to just say that. Let's go to the next one, okay? Uh, so that's the first Pasuk. So the Pasuk, it wants to say, there you could see the, the flow from Eric Anpin down into Zer Anpin through that. And he's talking about the three ration of Eric Anpin. We heard all of that. Now he says, Yavor Kavonis of Pasuk Hashanah. So let's talk about the second Pasuk. Yor Hashem Pana Velecho Vichonako. Okay, so this is all, uh, let's go. So in the Pasuk where it said, Let Hashem's face shine. So in the first one we had, there were three words. Here we have five. And I see this now that it's being pointed out to me in other places where I don't know what it is, or like in the Zohar or something like that. Here it comes over here. So now we have five. So here we're talking about, in the original, we're talking about the flow from Zera Anpin, from Eric Anpin into Zer Anpin. But now specifically, that flow to get to Zer Anpin have to, has to go through Abba Ve'ima. So now we're talking about in the second Pasuk is the flow moving to Abba Ve'ima. So therefore there are five different words. Can they get Abba Ve'ima? V'shlosha Mochim. V'shlosh Mochim. So this is each one of those then, we would say like this. I mean, I'm just making it up myself. And before we read the Tiv, I would say, what does he mean? Does he mean Abba Ve'ima is two? And then the two are going to flow into the three Mochin. Or they're going to bring, they contain within them the three Mochin in some way. And then he said that makes five. That's why, so each one of them, the Mochin would then be one, the last three let three words, say, for example. This is my calculation without reading the Pirish. Vieshbo esrim osius. Now, besides that, there are twenty letters. Kehesben shne yudin, which comes out to be the count of two yuds, right? Kikamosha hachmas abba nikra yud. So, therefore, we understand that the chachma of abba, well, abba is chachma. Nikra yud, the hiyosibo as of spheras gemuros, because he's ten complete spheros. Im rosh shlema, he has a complete head. Bishlosh mochim shabam. Now, I'm not sure what that meant in Rosh Shlema, but his head is complete and it has three Malchin in it. Gam Ata Zer Anpin, Nikra Yud Gemura. So then it's going from Abba. This is like a description, it sounds like, of the pathway between Abba and Zer Anpin. One of the things that Rabbi Memran says, and you know, we're going to, Mir Tzashem, be looking in the future into the Rishash Siddur. It says that when you're talking about these flows, and this is really a lot about what the Rishash Siddur is about, you always match addresses. So if you're going to take three, you're going to put it into three. That's, that's, that's the way it goes. So the Rishash is difficult to understand his words, which I think that with a little practice that you could help me a lot, we could learn together on that. But you, you, you could see how that works. So anyway, they has to have the same address. So that's what he says. 
Bein Esos Sphiris Gemuras Im Rosh Lema has a complete head which has three Malchen in it. That's Abba. Gam Ata Zer Anpen. So also Zer Anpen Nikra Yud Gemura. So he's also a Yud. What is meaning is ten Sphiros. Kikavar Nishlamo because when you have Abba coming into Zer Anpen, who was originally six Kitzvahs, he's now going to grow up to the whole ten. So Kikavar Nishlamo Esos Sphiris. And this is the Indian of the three Malchim that come into Zeranpen and that come into him. Now, let's go over to number Kufiyu Dalit and let's see how the Tiv is going to help us broaden out our understanding. Is it Bapasak Yarashem Pana Velecho Vichunako Yesh Chamesh Tevos? No doubt about that, there's five words. And he's going to want to split up the five words. And v'nirmaz b'zeh b'inyan hamshachas ha'shefa me'aba ve'ima l'zer anpin. So therefore, we have this reference here of that flow coming from zer anpin, from Abba ve'ima into zer anpin. Ki al yedecha b'berchaz kohanim. So this is what he wants to say. You're standing there, you're doing the duchening, nim shachmin Abba ve'ima, so what you're going to actually start making this connection. Shloshim mochim shehim chach b'bin adas. Three mochim chach b'bin adas el zer anpin to zer anpin. We're going to take down and bring the chabad into zer anpin. So we're going to create a zer anpin, a chabad is zer anpin. So he says, v'nir mazim v'chamesh tevil should be possible. So it's really referenced by these five words. So touch the five words onto the penetration of the mochim. So he says, Shte Tevos Keneged Abba Ve'ima. So let's count the five. So the first two words, I, he didn't say the first two, but he says two of the words go on Abba Ve'ima. Vosh Tevos Keneged Ashlosh Mochim Chach Babina Vedas. She Mochin and Nimshach and Zah, which are the Mochin that are coming to Zah. So you have the three Mochin plus Abba Ve'ima. You touch each one of those onto one of the words. Did you want to say something? No, I'm listening. Okay. So he said, but the Siddha Rishash. Okay, so we're getting, as we're going through this, we're getting closer to the Rishash, and, and we should understand that the Rishash, the, the Kabbalists say that the Rishash was really a Gilgul of the Uri. Because the Uri died at 38, and he didn't get everything out. Uh, you had a guy used to come to us, was his name Moskowitz? I, Mark, uh, he's, a, like, he's, a, he's like a Chabad a Balchuva. Like us, I get it. He lives in Sfat now. I just uh, he's somebody you know, but I never really figured out what he did for a living and even, even who he was. <laughs> so, the, but anyway, he lives in Sfat. He was having a hard time adjusting when I saw him, but that was a few years ago. Okay, I don't know why I brought him up because okay. we talk so yeah about the the rishash the rishash is supposed to be a gilgal so what he comes in as he starts breaking it down even more so we're learning the rav here and then there's a rishash on the other side so they go hand in hand although the rishash is really deep stuff of a set of rishash before it yoser hagavana v'yoyer keneged abba so he explains over there more detail he says the word yoyer goes to abba uh, the uh, then it says Hashem Keneged Ima, Panav Keneged Achachma, Keneged Achachma, Elacha Keneged Bina, Bichunako Keneged Das. So he says those are the three Malchim. So you have Abba Ve'ima and the three Malchim. So he says that's that's what that's what he brings over there. So again, going on, V'chein Nirmas Inyan Amshachas Hashem and Abba Ve'ima Lizah. So that's what we're talking about now. The first one, the first pasuk was talking about Eric Anpin Dezah. But in between them is Abba Ve'ima Dezah. So we understand maybe, I don't know, let's just keep going on. <laughs> I'm not going to editorialize. Ve'ima Dezah. Ve'inyan Ha'osia Shiyesh B'Pasuk Gazet. With the inyan are the, are the letters that are in this pasuk. Now let's take the letters. Ki Yesh Bo Esrim Osia Shehen Kaminyun Shnei Yudin. Shem begematria esrim. So what's pshat here? What, what, what's the metaphor here? L'horos ki kamo shachachma shehi bebechines abba ganoide. It's a chachma which is abba. Nirmaz baos yud. It's normally we said abba is the yud. Kevin shiyesh ba esr sphere shlemos. And he wants to keep pointing this out different places. He said because it represents the ten spheros of abba. So we have a yud for abba. 
So what in fact is this? The the Yud means that that's the part that goes in. I, I'm not sure I understand this, but he says it's a fact. The, the Yud of Abba represents the Tzadi Abba. Now let's look at Abba just for a second. Abba's ten spheros, right? He just said that. He says the tzadi, the tzadi, the the tzadi, uh, excuse me, yeah, the tzadi the tzadi is going to be the lowest part of the Abba. So, like you like the phrase, Rosh uh, Tach Sof. So this would be the Sof, the, the Sof of Abba. It's going to be, and which is what? It's his nine. So we call it the nine now. Shubachin is nabi, the nine Abba. So then he says like this. So he said, Ubachinas ha mochim ma makifin lamad mem the tzalim. So now you have the Makifin. So the Tzadik represents the Nai. That, in other words, that would be the lowest light of Abba. Is that a good word? Alai? We'll use that word there. So he said, but now let's talk about the Lama and the Mem. They're, well, they're going to refer to the Chagat of Abba. And they're going to refer to the, to the uh, Chabad of Abba. Sheheba Bechidus Chagat Kachbad the Abba. So he added in the Kesser to that. So he said, that's the aspect of the, uh, of the two upper parts of Abba. So Abba is coming into Zer Anpin, the lowest part of Abba, which also rhymes up with everything. It's the Nai of Abba that goes into Zer Anpin. The other two are manifest only in the Birchel Kohanim. So I don't like the word manifest. I like that word because it means that they were hidden and they became revealed in there. Vakulam Heim Eser Sphero. So all of them, each one of these is a, is a combination of ten spheres. It's really talking a lot, giving background in the Rishash a lot here, I see. Because that's what the, the Rishash does. Every time you say something, you can say it's a part of. And so, the, the, what he's saying, he says that the, the, each one of these, the Chabad Chagat Nai, or three sections, each one of them is a part of the Ten Spheros. So the same thing, you have a duplication in Zeranpin. Like I said, Rabbi Mimran, he says that the directions are going to be the same. You're going to put three into Zeranpin. They have to have three places in Zeranpin that they're going to go. So you're going to bring in the Chochma, you're going to bring in into, into his Chochma. And like that, and his Bina into his Bina, and his Das into his Das, etc., etc., like that. Let me see if I could get that touched up in the actual words. Kach gama za nirmez ata ba'os yud, he's also yud. Ki kavar, uh, see, kavar nishlam ba'es Let's remember that Abba, when Abba and Ima are coming into their Anpen, this builds up his head. That's exactly what we're talking about here. We're talking about building him a Rosh. He's normally just a body, let's say, a child. But here, this is making him into an adult. So this is bringing him the, the, this consciousness uh, that comes with having his Rosh completely developed. bo es and so he has the mochim on the inside of him, which is the tzad of the seven, selim. Shazab b'pechin is the nai, the zai. He's repeating himself again for our benefit. B'chein es ha-mochim b'mekifim shehem the lamad mem the selim, and also the b'kifim, which are the lamad mem. Shehem chagat kachbad, which would be the lamad, would be the chagat, and the kachbad would be the the uh, the chabad. The zav v'kulam heim eser sefiros, and they're all eser sefiros. So it's the eser sefiros of Mochin going into Zer Anpin. Oh, My the, question. Yeah, yeah. Why does he feel parenthetically he has to constantly repeat v'kulam heim eser sefiros? We know this. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it's it's, it's the. Oh, it's Huh? So I learned with this guy Yaakov Cronenberg, yeah. and I try to bring him into the tiv. He says, I don't like the two. So he's, he's, so he's an experienced guy. He's learned in, you know, the you know, Kabbalah Yeshivas. So, so uh, I said, why? He said, because he's, he's like, uh, who, who wrote the Charles Dickens? It's paid by the word. So he says, the guy's very repetitive. He keeps repeating himself over and over again. It's, it's as if he's getting paid by the word. That's what he said. So he's, I guess he was saying like this, is what, uh, that's what I understand you were saying. He says, well, why does he keep repeating himself? But maybe you were also saying is that maybe there's some significance here that we have to think about. Yeah. I, I, think, I think that's both are, both are true. But my, my thing about him is, is that it is, he's, he is wordy and he does repeat it a lot. But just like I think you're, you're pointing out here is, is that this, this, he keeps saying this number 10. He wants to know that there's 10. I, I gave you an ex, my explanation. It's because this is what the Rishash does. 
Bushash will come over to you and he'll say to you, you know, anytime you say something, you say Chabad Chagat Nai in any, in any Oilam. All of them are going to have partsufim by themselves. It's not what well, you say like this. So you have the Chabad section, right? So that means that the Chabad has a Chabad Chagat Nai. And then you go to the Chagat. The Chagat is going to have a Chagat Nai. And then the Nai, it's going to have a Chabad Chagat Nai. And so he'll go like this, and the, mostly what he deals with is going to be the Chagat Nai. So you have the Chagat, the Chagat, you have the Nai, the Chagat. Then you have the, 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 uh, nai, uh, the Chagat, the Nai, and the Nai, the Nai. The, this is the Rishash. You hear? Could you yes. hear? I, I think this stuff is like um, duck soup for you, really, but it's, it's, uh, you can't add it up. It's just, it's just the words. <laughs> and that's what he does. He does stuff like that. And in since then, I've been learning the Sifra Tzniuta and the the Idras, like over there, and the stuff that I've been doing over the years, I'm getting better at the Rishash. I mean, you'll see when you get the book, you know. Uh, you have to have a guide just to get, you know, just to find where things are. You want to spend three hours, uh, you know, which people do, incidentally. But you want to spend three hours in Shachris? I mean, you can do that. Okay, but I, actually all of us who are trying the Rishash actually do do that. You know, in other words, it's been, a, it's been a struggle to try to work with it because you don't get any help from the, from the Kehillah. I'm out by myself, you know. You three hours on chakras? Huh? The chakras about three hours? No, but if they finish Shmona Esrei in five minutes, let's see. Yeah. Chazar Sashats, or the whole thing, which is ten minutes, let's say ten minutes. It might take me twenty. So the, mm -hmm. that well, that's what has happened. And that's what I'm trying to learn. But I'm I, I I you know I've been doing it for a while, so therefore I try to uh, finesse it, you know, in different ways. It it looks like here, here's my dilemma is like this: if you go if I go to the Ashkenaz, the way that they do their business, I can probably use my Rishash sitter better than with the, the Svardim because the Svardim keep moving, 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 moving over these guys. I can finish after them, and they, you know, it's just it's just different. But they don't; they have a poor tachmun. They they left out the you know we're learning v'avor. We're going to be learning that next, and they don't have it. So e either I go to the svardim where they're racing like uh, you know through the stuff, and it's also a little strange for me. But I yeah I fit in the best I can. Now going over to these guys who are have it impartial uh, in only in part. Of what uh, of what the 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 Rav says we're supposed to have as a sitter, the Rav says that the Svard Svard sitter, the Svard D sitter, is the sitter, mm -hmm. and I'm noticing now that the Chabad is very very close to the Tachnun. It's a little bit off, but they have a lot of similarities. The Chabad really tried to concept to Ash, It's an Ashkenazi version version of of the Svard D sitter. And so it has, so I'm in a dilemma, you know, because I think that uh, I don't really want to go back to the Sephardim for a while. But on the other hand, I can't, I can't work it out really well with the, with the Ashkenaz. So somebody says that there's now a Hasidic minion, which probably means Chabad, starting at another shul not, not far from here. It's a little That's more, not, huh? Not Nusach like Sephard? It, it's Nusach Ari. It is Ari. So, but, you know, I don't know, you don't know my history because we've been separated for a, for a number of years, but I was escorted out of the Chabad on Miami Beach. Escorted out? Out. <laughs> it's not the only place, okay? No, huh? no. I was escorted, I was, I was banned from the, uh, you know, in a nice way from the Talmudic University also. So the only place that didn't ban me was the Svardim over there. Because wow. we had Rabbi Mograbi over there. See, he yeah. really knows, he knows what we're trying to do here. He knows that we're Mekubalim here. And he, 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 nobody else knows, but they're watching from the outside. That's because a guy like him is around. But if he wasn't around, they'd be like the Israelis over here, and they'd just be racing through the whole thing and never think about it. Uh -huh. uh, that's part of my history, is, is that I have uh, been, you know, I can't find, I can't find a fit. I find nice people, but not a, not a fit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm about chuva too. So, you want to try another one? Sure. All right. So you know, I, I I'm drinking a little coffee. I I say that 
before I started learning the Rishash with Rabbi uh, Mimran, I never drank coffee in my life. I just never, I didn't, I don't like the, I don't like to be stimulated like that. Okay. But the Rishash was so hard for me. Uh, I couldn't figure out where he was coming from. You know, he's just throwing this stuff. I could, you know, figure out how to go through the book. It's just, you know, to find your way. Uh, so I started drinking coffee today. <laughs> Trying to keep up, trying to trying to stay sharp. So let's see, maybe I have to do that. I don't know. Okay, let's read it. Read a Yuvar Kavanas of Pasuk Shlishi. Now this I didn't go through this so much, but we'll try to get it. And this is the Pasuk called the Yisa. Yisa Hashem Pana Velecho Viasem Bechal Shalom. So the Pasuk Yisa. So our Pasuk now. Now we're in the third Pasuk. So what did we do here? Basically, we came and we said the first Pasuk goes with Eric Anpit. It really describes the the, posse, the the flow from the Panemius of Eric Anpin. Uh, didn't go through all the details that you would get in the Idra, but it, it brought it to Zeranpin. Then we came to the next Pasuk, which is the next stanza, which is about Abba Ve'ima and how they pour into Zeranpin. The Pasuk Yisaw, Hu Be'bechinus HaMochem Sheyardu B'zav. So now we're actually going to get more specific. What is Abba, our Abba Ve'ima? Pouring into Zer Anpin. Sha'acharkach nis havoho vitrin itrin iloyan. And then after that, they develop into two upper crowns. Shahim chasadim megavoros de teferis kenaidah. Now notice he, the Rav, can move the words around of the middle line. Sometimes he calls it teferis. Sometimes he calls it uh, Zer Anpin. Sometimes he calls it das. Because das is panimi to teferis. So he says, "Shehem chasadim megavuras de teferes kenaidim." He says, "For the chain, yesh beposuk ze shevetevo." So therefore, since uh, Eric, excuse me, Zeran ben is basically a seven, beim hatrin itrim and nizkar, and with the two crowns that we're talking about, harem teisha tikuni dikne the Zeran ben. So now here's what you're talking about. You're talking about his ability, maybe, to deliver to us because it would go through his beard. I don't know. Vyeshbo Esrim, and there are also 25 Esrim Vachamesh Osius, 25 letters. What could we do with that? So he says, This is the Kavana. You know, I can imagine that in a. In a uh, I went to visit the yeshiva in, in, uh, in Jerusalem called um, Shar Shemayim, which this, the Tiv, was at one time the uh, Rosh Hashiva there. And I was in a room, and I'm dressed like, you know how I dress, I'm just like an American guy. And I'm, all these guys are dressed in black and white, and they're speaking Hebrew. And I speak a little bit of Hebrew. So uh, so the man comes up to me, and he said, and I say to him, uh, what do they do in this room? He just says, they learn Shara Kavanos. So I say, as I speak to him a little bit, and he's looking at me, and he's saying, how do you know what Shara Kavanos is? That's what he's saying with his eyes. But it was interesting because you can imagine that if you were Zaycha to live or work into that, in that yeshiva, you went into a shir early in the morning, let's say, for example, and you went over these kavanos, how you could actually use them, you know, when this time for davening came up. Uh, right now, we're a little, we could do that too. So, but there's a lot to remember. A lot to remember. So, but we're making vessels. Let's go on. But the kavod bezecha el shem ben esrim v'shnayim v'shnayim ha elyon. So we're gonna we're gonna say we we can actually understand the kavana here for the twenty two upper uppers. Shehu havaya the miloy alofim, which we mentioned that before, which is the gematria forty five. V'yeshbo asara osias, and it has within it four as ten letters. He's a kavod shem adni. So also, what you're making a connection here between Yudke Vavke and Adni, but the shame Adni b'Mulua sheyesh bo shneim Esrei Oser as shneim Aser Oser has twelve letters. So he said, now you have twenty-two. Shneim Eser twelve. The Eser Hare Esrei Mishneim Oser that makes twenty-two letters. The Horos. So it says, teach us what. That what you're actually doing here, as you're saying the last stanza of the Yisa Hashem Pana Velech of Yasim Lechashalom, 
that idea over there is bringing in all of these 22 names. He said, let me get what the Horosha Aten is Maloshne Shemos Elo Bumaluam Ayedecha Natsachod Yesod the Tavuna. Well, Tavuna is another word for Ima in this case. And her Natsachod Yesod is her Nai. And her Nai represents the, uh, the funnel that brings the Mohin into Zeranpin. And inside of her nai are the three mochim that are going to Zeranpen Kenizgar. They come out to be 25. So he said, and then the Shlosha mochim, heim 25. So that's how you could apportion the words and the letters. Okay, wow, that was a lot. So we're on Kufio Tess, and it says, says we're reading the uh, the light part. He said, the Pasuk Yisa. So in that Pasuk, Nirmas Bechinis HaMochem Shayarda Bezer Anpin. We want to know that what we're actually talking about is the actual the passing into Zer Anpin of these Mochem. Shehem Bechinis HaMochem Abinimim HaNiknaz HaBezaz. So this is the concept of the inner Mochem that go into Zeranpin. Hanir Mazen Bitzad Ditzalim, which is really referenced in the Tzad Ditzalim because that's the part that calls it talks about, and we talked about before when the terms of the Tzalim, the Nai part of the Tzadi represents the Nai. Hakolim Teshes Sfiras Chabat Chagat Nai, so it has within it these Chagat Nai, Chabat Chagat Nai. Bechain as bechinas hatrin itrim the chesadim the gavuros and also the two itrim they call the chesadim and the gavuros a lot of times by the name itrim they're the two crowns of das so why they use the word itrim uh, I'm waiting to discover a good answer for that he's going to probably say because they have ten spheros in each one it's five chesadim with ten spheros I uh, I don't know. So he said, the Omdim Bekave Misoi, which is the middle line, Besphiris at the So that's what I was trying to get at before, is, is that the middle line has several different names. So, uh, so like I said, it's Teferis, Zeranpen, uh, it could be called something else. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, usually it's called the Kodesh Baruch Hu also. So, Rabbamasha, Nirmas Bateva Shiyesh, Shiyesh, is Hu, Beoven Zed. So, how are the words of the Pasuk? Actually combined with these ideas, ki yesh bepasuk sheva tevos. So in the pasuk itself, there are th- seven words. Vimatrin itrin de chesadim begevuras hare heim tasha. So you add up the two, to, the two. Yeah, they come out to nine. The rames the tasha tekuni dikna dezaz. So this is to talk to you about. The, this is to tell you. Here we are. We have the seven words plus the two crowns, he said that represents the actual nine tikkunim of Zeranpen. It ties onto that, okay, of the beard of Zeranpen. Then he says, so now, so in other words, that's what that is. The, the, that's what it is. We're now we're talking about the beard of Zeranpen. So let's look at the letters. The Hine Yesh Bepasuk Esrein Vechamesh Osius is actually a total of 25 letters. Biyakavin Tahila. So this is what you should have in mind, Al Shem Ben Esri Mishnaim Osius of a name that has twenty two letters in it. What name has twenty two letters in it? Shahu Shem Habaya Bemilui Alafim looks like this. A shame which has ten letters. So let's just digest that a second. It's a shame of Vaya, which comes out to be Yud Vav Dalak Yud that adds up to ten letters. Shahim Esr Osius, ten letters. Became the shame Adni, the name Adni b'milui Aleph, like this: Aleph lama Dalad, Dalad lama Tes, Tof rather, Nun vav Nun Yud vav Dalad. That comes as shame Shnaim Esra Osius. This is twelve. So now you're going to make one name, which is a, what we call a Shilla, but it's a Yichud between these two names. So he's like Vahare Shem Esri Mishnaim Osius. So that makes twenty-two letters. Ve'inyan, so he said, Ve'inyan milui ha'shem ha'zavaya ba'adni hu, so if you fill this out, and you you uh, you have a ve'inyan milui ha'shem ha'zavaya ba'adni, 
על ידי שנכנסו השלושה מוחים חוך בבינה דס בזה. So now you have the, the Chabad, das, in the Nai of Ima is, a, is the Chabad of Zah. Now they come into their Anpen. And now they're in Shaniknesu Hashloshim Mochim this Chachm Bina Das into the Mo of from Bina into the Das is their Anpen. Ayedes in Ishlavsu and Lavshu Bakli on Netzachod Yisod the Ima because they're inside of the Netzachod of Ima. Kaniska the Ale is mentioned up above. Baal came, so therefore. Kasher Nitzaref Esa Esri Mishnaim Osius Milui Shemo. So you take the Milui of these names. Now it's still, just let me say parenthetically to me, it's not 100% clear yet what the Milui, what the Milui does, but it, it, obviously it, it, it accounts for a spread of the original kernel, so to speak, into branches. And then there's branches of the branches. That makes the number 42 that we discussed previously. So if Al Kane Ka Asher Nitzarif as a Esri Mishnaim Osius of Milu Yashemo, so when you put all of this together, Imanetza Chod Yisod the Ima Shehim Shlosh, which is uh three, Harehim Esrim Bhamesh, this makes twenty-five. Kaminyan ha osish shiba pasuk, like the letters that are in the pasuk. Now we have one more we're gonna do, and I'm running out of steam. So he says over here a number I and Zion. That's where we're at right now. Read my pages. Lined up better. He's a bezet tavim masha kasa bezoyer in the so. So we have the zoyer, which is a lot of times that might refer to the idra rabba. Kiv yivrecha yoyer yisa. Those three. Another way of looking at it, hey netzachod yisod, but they also represent netzachod yisod. Shakavonuhu al netzachod yisod the tavuna. So what are we talking about here? What are you trying to say in these these words? These three right. stanzas. They really refer, one refers another way of looking at it. It's another way of looking at it. It says that the first, the first stanza refers to Netzach. The second stanza refers to, uh, to Hod. And the last one to Yisod. Let me read him instead of me saying it. Al Netzach Hod Yisod the Devuna Hamalvishim Es HaMolchim HaMakifim, which cover over the Molchim, which are Makifim. So Malvishim as they cover them. Okay, let's see what he says over here on Kuf Kaf Gemel. So he says, So this, with this, we're explaining this idea. Those three. They can also be looked at it this way. So basically he's talking, talking to us about all different kinds of Gavanos that we could have. I don't know if you could have all these in mind at the same time. But I can tell you this, that uh, Rabbi Memran has shown me that uh, there's a there's a, um, a, re, uh, a great Kabbalist uh, on the Litvish side. Uh, his name was Sraya Doblevsky, who had the whole thing down in 10 minutes. Now we're talking, that is the whole Rishash sitter in 10 minutes. Now this is how somebody could be so devoted you know, they had spent so much time looking at it. He died as an old man. He was an old man. And I never got onto the train of all the things they were talking about over there. I'm just doing the best I can over here. So let me go to the word, So he wants to say that this is really going back, not into Zer Anpin himself, but what is coming into Zer Anpin in the Netzachod Yisod of Ima. Because in that, in the, they then correspond to the mochin that are going to zeranpin. So let's go back to the stage before they were inside of the nai of ima. And and gavuras. If you remember that back to that referred to the period of the memdetzelim. So he says it, which is the Mem Ditzalem. But now they go into the Nai of Ima and they become three. So they're all now in the Kli of the Yisod of Ima. And so as a result of that, they're considered then to be one Muach. Nimsa Shehem Rak Shlosha Mochim Chabad. So even though he wants to say that even though they're actually four, 
but they put into three, and then the three is referenced by the three stanzas, which are Netzach, Hod, and Yisod. So, but referring to that of Tavuna or Bina, which is called it, but Ima, going into Zeranpin. So therefore we have that concept of those three, Mohin, which is the three Mohin, which are Chabad, Volkain, Hemnir, Mazim, Besod, Amaki, Fatachton. So therefore they're referenced in regards to the lowest Makif, Shuhu, Lama, Detzalim, Berei, Meshefa. So therefore there's more. He could get into the Shefa there. He goes into some of the details. That's all I can do today. It was a long shir today. Uh, yeah, maybe on some of these shiurim, when we have the energy, we'll, I'll divide it into two. I don't like to make it so, so long. I don't think people will listen to them other than you and me. <laughs> when are you going to uh, So I'm going on July 3rd, and I'm trying to think if there's a time we could learn because it, I'm going to be, we're, my daughter's, we're going with my daughter's family, mm-hmm. Trina's family. So, uh, I don't know if you know Trina's family. She has Kinahara, three boys and a girl. Mm. And her oldest is, uh, I think he's just 14. Mm-hmm. And uh, then they go down. The, she has a daughter's 12, just past mitzvah, and a little, little, couple of little ones. But we're going with all of them, so we're going to be touring. I don't know when I'll have the chance to learn, except that if you don't mind, I can make like a shear for 20 minutes or something like that, and then send it. We'll see how that goes. Okay, right. so thank you very much for learning with me today. I really enjoyed this learning. We got I, I was thought it did better and went slower, try not to make so many mistakes. And uh, we learned a little bit today. Okay, call to regards. You're welcome. All the best.